G'day everyone, here we are on uh, this YouTube channel, Tasmanian Bus Journeys. On this channel we're going to go around by Tasmania by bus, I'm going to show you all of that. We haven't got many trains, so buses is about as good as we can do, but we've got great bus journeys, not a problem. With these things we also want to have a challenge. Today's challenge is visiting all towns, six towns of the Huon Valley, just south of Hobart, and we want to do it in one day. Now this is perhaps harder than it sounds because there are a number of there where there's only three buses a day or bus goes every two hours. So it's not very frequent. So if you miss a bus, you've stuffed it basically. Uh, but hopefully that won't uh, happen to us today. Another little part of our little challenge is we do like having um, uh, breaks for uh, brekkie. Like, so we don't like start until nine o'clock. We do like finishing for dinner at six o'clock. Very civilized. And also we must have a luncheon break. Uh, none of this running around uh, from bus to bus. Um, we've, got to, we've got to do it properly. All right, well I can't. G'day, this is Peter again. And Tasmanian bus journeys are in that land below Australia, yes. Tasmania, there it is, uh, right below, and here we can see that ta the island of Tasmania, our capital city, is in Hobart, and the Huon Valley is at the south of the island, as indicated by the error. Today, we are travelling from Hobart. In one day, we're going to go to Signet, Huonville, Ranala, and then all the way down south to Dover. Back up again to Jewston and then the Franklin. We'll return to Hobart doing our six, six towns in a day. We start here at the scenic Franklin Square, the terminus for all buses. I'm going to go down to the bus stop right there. It's always handy when buses come from the Hill Valley like this one because it's quite likely to turn around. Here is our bus to Signet. We'll be catching this bus all the way, Hobart, Kingston, Huonville, to. Okay, we get on to depart 908 service on Route 714 to Signet. This takes about 68 minutes, goes through Kingston, goes through Huonville, and then our final destination, which will be Signet. Well, the journey commences in a very pleasant way as we drive around the historic treasury building. This now, this hasn't been turned into a casino or anything. This is still full of people looking after the state's finances. We're turning in left into Murray Street. And at this stage, we're very much uh, following the old tram route between Hobart and Sandy Bay. Anyway, we're turning right now into Davy Street. And we charge up Davy Street um, on our way uh, to the southern outlet and here there are some beautiful parklands we go through those and then the, we, we are elevated and you can see down below um, the uh, River Derwent uh, the spectacular River Derwent uh, of Hobart and we continue the climb and we go up towards Mount Nelson over Mount Nelson and we go down the southern outlet then we arrive at Kingston. Now Kingston is a uh, important uh, urban centre uh, down south of Hobart. It's the major urban centre uh, there. It's a strongly growing area. And we're just gonna pull into this bus stop to pick up uh, some passengers uh, here, uh, quite an important uh, bus stop. Well, after uh, Kingston, we go down the Huon Highway at great speed, and this takes us down uh, down towards Huonville across Vince's Saddle, and there we arrive at the Huon Valley, an agricultural um, area, a um, lot of uh, foodstuffs grown. And so we will be passing through the um, township of uh, Huonville on the way um, to uh, 
signet. Won't be stopping at uh, Humeville uh, this time. We will come back there on our next leg. We are travelling on the northern side of the Huon River to Signet and you can see across the river later on we'll be travelling on the southern side. So we arrive in our first destination town today, that is Signet, population of about 1600 people, and at least that was in 2016, uh, a town of great diversity and, and popularity. So after arriving uh, on the bus, we're going to have just a little wander around uh, in the time Well, we've made the first leg. This is the town of Signet. We've made it. Uh, the bus was on time. We've got exactly 20 minutes here to have a look around uh, this beautiful town of, of Signet. It's a lovely little regional town. The buses, buses only travel here three times a day, so I've got to be particularly careful. And also check with the driver to make sure that uh, he will pick me up. There's a variety of eateries here. Uh, the commercial hotel, a very pleasant place for a counter meal um, yeah, and a bit of refreshment. But we haven't got time today. But uh, yeah, another another really good stopping place. Meals all day, as they say, very nice. And here comes my bus back, the 10:35 bus back to Huonville. I've got to go and get him now. Here he comes. Yes, we're going to catch the 1035 service on Route 714 Huonville to Signet. The route takes 25 minutes. Huonville Town Hall. Uh, it's, uh, always, I'm always interested in uh, what the Town Hall looks like. This looks quite a reasonable size sort of Town Hall. Looks very interesting. It's all good. And just panning across the road, I see a bakery which I might do lunch in because I'll be back here after my random thing. A butcher and St. Vincent de Paul op shop, of course. One's view. Main road of Huonville. Two towns down, four to go. Yeah, look what I found a Tasmanian icon. It's Banjo's Beautiful Bakery Calf. Yeah, they're all over Tassie and they're all pretty good and consistent. So that's what I'm going for coffee and brekkie. Oh, well, not brekkie, morning tea. Well, here we are at Banjo's and I'm having my morning tea. A lovely muffin and a cappuccino with a complimentary shortbread biscuit on it. Just a nice thing to do whilst I just spend a little bit of time waiting for my next bus, which will be going to Ranelagh. So here we go, quite delightful. I'm looking forward to that. Here he comes, the Ranelagh bus is coming in, coming in here. Yeah, we catch the Ranala service, um, Route 1156 service going to Ranala on Route 712 and it comes back. The round loop takes about 15 minutes, but the bus was running a little late, so I couldn't get off it. Wide open spaces. Three churches I've seen so far. Very pleasant. There we are going past here and this is where the Tassie Link bus drivers change so they can have their meal breaks and still the only passenger on board but you never know who might show up on public transport you can have a whole lot of people uh, jumping on but the beauty of the you know, going by myself means there's not, not that many people so you can talk a little bit so we'll go straight back to Huonville Very scenic, very scenic. Here we go. I've just been to the local bakery and look at this delicious 
salad roll I've got here it's a rye bread chicken and salad roll from a local bakery for six dollars very impressive very solid I really am looking forward to this one well after a lovely lunch we jump on to the bus at Huonville bus station bound for Dover you can see we're crossing the Huon River but this now ends part one of our video six Huon Valley towns in a day by bus I do hope you can join us for part two as we will explore further southern towns and it's going to be a lot of fun.